God and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, The Lord spake to Moses, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of speak Israel, Speak unto all the congregation of Israel, And say unto them, Say to them, Ye shall be holy. For ye shall be holy. And what was the reason? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. Now, there was no white man put that in there. The Lord declared, And the Lord is of no ethnic group. Speak unto all the congregation of Israel and say unto them, Say to them, Ye shall be holy. For ye shall be holy. And what was the reason? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. Now, there was no white man put that in there. The Lord declared, And the Lord is of no ethnic group. Now, all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rekakadash. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shah been the name of His only begotten Son, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Now, you see the lies that these people tell and the witchcraft that they put on the people. First of all, he admit that these people done created these religions and it don't go along with the Bible, but he is a part of a religion. See, he pushing the so-called white man's religion of Christianity, which is the foundation uh, uh, of Catholic, meaning universal, meaning all nations is who God is dealing with and who is who God chose uh, to deal with all nations as long as they run their mouth and say some freaking quotables. Now, here in verse 2, it says, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Now speak to the heathens. So that's the first lie that he's telling, a bold-faced lie. Then it says, Be holy. Now what is this holy situation? Now when you say holy, you're talking about separate. Be separate. From what? These other nations. See, you can't mess with the Lord because he got a trick bag for you. You're going to think you're going to tell a bold-faced lie, and he's going to destroy it. That's why he say one thing and seven things he hate, and the most of the conversation was about a freaking liar because holy means separate. Then he say, I am separate. I'm separate from all these other gods. Every nation had a god. They was worshiping false gods. And so he was holy because he was, wasn't dealing with these other nations. Now let's go back into the scriptures. He wasn't dealing with these other nations because they was worshiping false gods. He was only dealing with the children of Israel. And this is what a, a Christian don't want to uh, realize, especially a, a, a so-called Negro Christian. And let's go into the ethnicity. See, let's get uh, Exodus 4 and 12, or is it 4 and 20? 4 and 22. It says, And thou say unto Pharaoh, Thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. You see? So he is a part of an ethnic group. He created Israel to be his son. See, he created Israel to be of his specific ethnic group. And this is what these people don't want to realize. That's why when you're going to um, Daniel, what is it? Chapter 7. Uh, where is it? Chapter 7, verse 9. It says, Behold, I beheld until the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head were like the pure wool. See? This is how 
the children of Israel was looking, and especially Israel. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as the burning fire. Okay, that's the description right there. But then you go on to 10. Ten. Where is it? Let me just get verse six. It says, "His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like into color to polish brass. His arms and his feet, and that brass goes into a person <clears throat> with a um." dark complexion. They don't have less leprosy like the so-called white man. Definitely not no such thing as a white Jesus. And he don't look like the Edomites, the so-called white man. But he also has an ethnic group, which is the Israelites. Because he said it, this is his firstborn son, Israel. See, the whole nation. Yahweh who they even called Jesus Christ, he wasn't just the only person that was uh, begotten <clears throat> and, and, and made to be the son of the Lord. The whole nation was his son. The whole nation was going to rule under him. That's what the name, name means, the prince of the power. What is that, Genesis 32? Let's see here. Uh, what was it 36 oh there it is verse 28 it says and he said your name shall be called no more Jacob but Israel for as a prince have you power with God and with man and have prevailed so he made him his son he made him a prince. And this is what the so-called Christian church don't want to accept. And uh, especially the Negroes that's up in there. Because that doctrine that they pushing is the so-called white man's doctrine. And they can't get around it. They can't deny it or reject it. It came from their slave master. And it was formulated before they was even born so they ain't came up with it the bible is not saying that the bible is saying that god got a chosen race a chosen people that he made unto himself see let's go let me get that first then we're gonna get the other one he said for thou art, a, art an holy people unto the lord thy god the lord have Thy God have chosen you to be a special people unto himself. See, he made children. He made him, He made himself a father because now he got children on the earth. That was his plan. That was his plan, to have children on the earth, and it was going to be a special people. Everybody wasn't going to be special. He created a special people and what was the special people to be they was going to be above all the people on the face of the earth he created a special people that was like unto himself that was an ethnic group that came from a specific bloodline and they was going to be his chosen people see and this is what the christian church trying to deny this was a part of his plan and he ain't changing his plan. Let's get the plans real quick. 46 and 10. It says, declaring the end from the beginning. From the beginning, he knew he was going to create these people. See, and he wasn't going to destroy them. He was just going to allow them to uh, cause them to go off. So the story can be uh, 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 have drama in it. And to give more glory to and, and magnify the glory. See, that's why you say he raised up Esau, the dang on devil, 
so he can show his power when he destroy his behind. He wanted to have some drama in the story. Well, let me raise this cave dweller, raise him up to being the most powerfulest people, nation in the world, the most wickedest, powerfulest nation in the world, so I can destroy his behind and show the drama in that and show the glory that I'm going to get from destroying his behind. See, the power and the glory of my name is going to be declared throughout the earth when I destroy this powerful, wicked nation. See, this is the plan. And he going to do what? Use his children to do so. See, his chosen nation, his special people, he going to use them to destroy Esau, the wicked nation. See, it's a, it's a special nation that was made after the likeness of the Lord, the image of God. See, then it was the Edomites, who ain't the image of God, who the wickedest nation in the world, and he raised them up to have power so he can destroy their behind. Let's get to how, who he going to use to destroy their behind. Jeremiah 51 and 20 say, Thou art my battle axes and weapons of war for with you see Israelites for with you will I break in pieces the nation and with you will I destroy kingdoms see and this is what the Christian church don't want to bring out because they was paid by Esau Edom the government of Esau Edom to keep these things in the wraps and uh undercover now um i'm trying to get how he's only dealing with the israelites okay amos two and three say you only have i known of all the families of the earth therefore i will punish you for all your iniquities you see and then that's gonna be a greatest drama because he punished the Israelites but see he gonna show his power when he destroy their enemies and what he gonna do after he destroy their enemies 2nd Samuel 2 and 8 it say he raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted lift up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes see they're going to be set amongst their brethren because the whole nation is going to be princes, the princes of the power, meaning Yasharala. See, this is what Jacob's name was changed to. We got power with God and with man. And to make them inherit the throne of glory for the uh, pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he have set the world upon them. See, and this is the plan of the Most High. This is what he planned from the beginning. He didn't just change something like the Christian church want to keep on pushing. Malachi 3 and 6. It says, For I am the Lord Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, the, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. See, the Israelites ain't going to be done away with and they messed up and God going to change his whole plan of having a chosen children on the earth representing him, ruling as kings in the image of the Lord that's in the heaven. Now, um, now the Amos, there was one more I wanted to get um, you got Joel. So this is what is in the New Testament. This is what Paul, not Paul, Peter quoted in the New Testament. Joel 2 and 32. When he said, whosoever call on the name of the Lord. This is what he said in the New Testament. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. See, they the one going to be delivered. 
as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. He calling the Israelites. He delivering the Israelites. And this is why Paul, I mean, uh, Peter spoke these words in Acts chapter 2. Because this is what it's all about. Then when you jump back up to 27, saying, You shall know that I am the midst of Israel, I am the Lord your God, and none else. Nobody else is God. And my people should never be ashamed because these other nations going to try to shame you and say, God created everybody. Why he just dealing with y'all? So he didn't create, he created everybody with that. The part of his plan was to only deal with one nation. Look at, um, Isaiah, was it 40 and 17? It says all nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. See, just because he created them, that don't mean nothing because his plan wasn't to um, deal with every nation. His plan was to have his chosen children have a major rulership. Look at 15 and say, Behold, the nations are as a drop in the bucket and are counted as less, as small as the small dust of a balance. Behold, he taketh up the islands as a very little thing. See, he don't deal with these other nations. But the Christian church want to keep pushing that crap and say, oh, it's not about, he don't have an ethnic group. No, that's the whole purpose of the Bible. He created a nation in the image of himself. He did it with Adam, with the nation of Adam, but then they went off, but still the descendants of the nation of Adam. See, he still chose out of them, out of his children, an, uh, 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 pretty much an, another nation. See, out of his family, just like out of uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, he chose the Levites to be the priests. Out of the 12 tribes of Israel, he chose Judah to be the king um, tribe, kingly tribe. So he chose who he want to choose out of the children. And they going to represent something. And that's what the nation of Israel, let's get that in um, Revelation. It says, he have made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. This was the purpose of the Lord. That the Israelites are going to be kings and priests. The kings and the priests, everybody is not going to be kings and priests on the earth. They all equal and they all kings and priests because they was running their mouth talking about we some Christians and we believe in that white Jesus Christ. See, no. You're a liar and the, and the truth is not in you. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rikakadash. Peace of the elect worldwide, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, descendants of slaves scattered around the globe on slave ships and through many captivities. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.